Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 original SNES cart review. Today I'm going to take a look at Urban Strike, the sequel to Jungle Strike. So if you've never saw my Jungle Strike or Desert Strike review, I'm best off showing you the gameplay because it's too hard to actually describe because I don't really know what genre this would be. So at the start you've got the usual where the like, options to choose controls, you can hit X to go into your co-pilots, same rules apply, some of the co-pilots are better at winching, some are better at shooting and stuff like that. Then you can hit the Y button to do the password for any one of the 10 levels except the first obviously because you don't need a password for the first level, you just push start. You then get the uh, cutscenes which like give you briefing and I'm skipping that for the same reason that I skipped it on the last one and the one before and the same reason I will skip it for Soviet and Nuclear Strike because I have actually got the five and those reviews will be coming soon so if you're interested, there, check my channel. Um, the usual gameplay applies though, you basically have to fly around shooting some enemies, destroying stuff, picking stuff up and uh, protecting stuff by destroying stuff. It's uh, one of the odd things the way I've just said it, but basically it's a case of if there's people trying to blow stuff up and you have to protect that, then you blow them up. So you don't actually protect it by blowing it up. That I said it very stupidly, unfortunately. So first mission here is actually just to destroy these white buildings and also you've got enemies around which you have which it's a very good idea to shoot them about. Unfortunately the controls on this game I'm actually struggling with because they've, they've reverted back to uh, Desert Strike. They're nowhere near as good as what they were on Jungle Strike. The uh, winch however is still just as easy, it just comes down automatically and you just, well, go into the item that you want to. These are the fuel drums, the automatic the fuel drums, the ammo creates anything that you pick up, it's, you get the effect immediately, you don't have to worry about going into anything and activating it. So this is the map screen though, which is always the most useful thing because it's the things that are flashing are the things that you've got highlighted. So here is my second mission. So this is what's flashing. I need to go and do something with these telescope mirrors. If I push the X button, it'll tell me a bit more about them. Tell me what I have to do with them. If I push the ear button, ear button, it'll actually tell me what missions I have and haven't done. And the Y button just takes me back to the map, as well as finding out what my next mission is. I can find where certain enemies are. I can find where the uh, fuel drums are, the ammo crates are, and stuff like that. On the left side, it actually tells me what my armor situation is, so if I'm about to die or not, how many lives I've got, what my fuel situation is, what my ammo and stuff's like, and how much, uh, well, what things I'm carrying as well. Like, your load is basically how many MIAs you can pick up, because you can only hold a few of them. On the uh, desert, it was six, and I can't remember what it is on this one, so I'm just going to assume it's six again. And you just have to basically drop them off at certain points. But uh, this is basically the whole gameplay. It's the exact same as what it was in the first two. There's no, again, there's no music that I can shut up and let you listen to. You've just basically got some sound effects here of the uh, helicopter and the missiles and stuff. So that's pretty much everything there is to see. Um, graphically, as you can see, things look pretty good. They look a lot grittier than they did on Jungle Strike, but it's kind of like to add a more realistic feel. It's probably not pulling off very well on the actual camera. It's one of them things that it's like it'll look better in person than through a camera lens. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.